U.S. comic fans across the world, she is here. She has arrived. My girl, we're waiting for her. Yes, here she is. So here we have another eBay package from uh, Infinity Comics. And there was a little bit of a gap in between the opening part of this video. There was a cut. Hopefully, I, so I'm working on a trailer for my channel now. So if I put it up by the time, or if I come, like put it together by the time I was ready to upload this video, you'll see it. If not, there was just gonna be a word cut and it's just probably an awkward transition, but uh, yeah, so something working on there. But yes, here we are, Infinity Comics again, package well. And I know, hopefully I will have responded to uh, North Garden by now because he acts the name of the seller again, and I just always tie them up because they have so much good stuff. And since I frequent them a lot, I figure, you know what, hey, that's for a good reason, so. All right, so, yes. This is partially a continuation of, I think, yeah, my last, not my last, I don't know if it was my last haul, but my last eBay haul from them because, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm just gonna go through this. Because I mentioned, I. The Amazing Spider-Man books in the 500s. So 525 through 532, I think. Those are the issue numbers if I'm correct. But I mentioned how I there was like they had a set of auctions with those issues and like they had them all in one night and I just missed them all. I just completely botched it off. Wasn't focused, wasn't didn't have my head in the game. So I said, you know what? Damn, I missed them. But then they came up another time to just in the four issue sets on two different uh, occasions. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm, I want those issues. I've been after them for a while. So I'm going hard for them, going hard body. And I did, I was successful. Two different, again, there were two different times. That's why you're seeing them in two different options now, like, I don't know, a week or so apart. And yeah, I was like, I was determined. Focus oh, like a laser beam, and I got them. So I'm so happy <laughs> because those issues have eluded me for some time. And this was right after. Actually, these were issues. Some of these, or these are main Spider-Man issues. Actually, uh, were put out right before I started reading Main Spider-Man because I jumped on right after Civil War when uh, Back in Black began in 539. Uh, yeah, keep these because I reuse those. Yes, so this is all, it's not all, it's all Marvel except for two issues actually. So yeah, start off with Amazing Spider-Man 525, the other. Now this one, when you get into the 500s for Amazing Spider-Man, it gets kind of weird because after volume one and then into volume two, where John Byrne and then JMS took over at one point. I don't, I don't know if there's somebody else in between Byrne and JMS, but uh, JMS and then Peter David for, actually, oh my gosh, there was several. So Reggie Hudlin drew, wrote an issue too, what? I don't remember that at all. And I've read some of this stuff, I don't remember that at all. I always remember it was JMS, but it was Peter David, JMS, Reggie Hudlin apparently. So anyways, uh, that was 525, the other, Evolve or Die. And we had more Loon in there. He's in here as well. I'll show you him right here, this is uh, 526, like that blue cover there. Yeah, it was, when you get into stuff like Ezekiel and the spider totem stuff, that probably turned a lot of readers off. It was weird. And I think it did get, it kind of got pushed to the back burner. People, I think a lot of people were just like, eh, kind of over this. But then it kind of got brought back. I know Ezekiel came back again at some point and Moreland showed up. And he kind of got into, what, the last, how long ago was that? like into the spider, not the spider, maybe the spider island stuff, but some of the spider verse stuff and all the different universes and like all those people trying to, yeah, it was, it was just a mess. It was just a weird time. It's just weird comic book shit, but that's just kind of how it goes. Kind of big discovery here. Here's 527. Yeah, that's kind of cool there. So yeah, but it was all uh, Mike Giordano Jr. I don't know who Pimentel is, but I didn't realize there was all these other different writers who uh, jumped in on this. And get to the last Spider-Man issue in here. Here it is 528. So yeah, so the other one was 529, 30, 31, and 32. And then I had the other ones in there already. So yes, that was 
nice little uh, obstacle, I'm collecting obstacle I'm happy to have uh, completed. And I like the color, like the coloring on this one because you see it's kind of got a bit of a yellow orange there. It's kind of black, white, and gray, grayscale, I guess. And then uh, a cool color blue there, and then red. So that's kind of uh, and a cool color in there. All right, so now let's get on to, got a couple of DC books in here. I'm saving the other book that I'm gonna talk about for last. Here is my girl Zatanna, Paul Dini, Rick Mays, with Brian Miller, Everyday Magic. This one is a, uh, is, is it square? Yeah, it is square round. Then we got Paul Dini here. Is it Brian Bowling? It is. Brian Bowling cover. But just some Zatanna's action. I love some Zatanna. I mean, seriously, just can't get enough of her. And I think she, I'm saving, actually saving this one for another video, but I will kind of mention it here. I think she is, she's on my list of DC characters, specifically DC women, that have a ton, like a ton more space to grow as far as and elevate like character status, as far as popularity within with comic fans, but also as her kind of place within the DC universe. I think there's a lot of room for her to grow. And she's had several appearances and then leading, well not leading, but being part of Justice League Dark and just all that. So there's definitely a lot for her to go. So she has a lot of potential. So I'm looking forward, hopefully, DC can kind of see that and kind of put her on a track to kind of grow and elevate her status. All right, next up is cool. This is two issues out of four. I need the other two, one and three. But my girl, the owl and the pussycat, I can fly a cat. How unfortunate that you can't. Beware the claws of the cat. Number two, got Hellcat and the owl there. Yes, after these ones, because I'm like, just can't get enough of Hellcat. Who like who doesn't love Hellcat? Patsy Walker. Ah, I was like, man, you know what? I gotta get this cat issues. And here is a stampede. All my life, humans have hurt me, pounded me. Today, mankind will fall beneath the hooves of the man bull. Not if the cat can help it, gruesome. Be where the cat, or wait, be where the claws of the cat. The cat number four. So yes, I need one and three at some point. This one's not the greatest shape, but I don't remember how much I paid for it. Yeah, I got a couple of things here. They were, I don't know, maybe a little gray, but I was like, screw it, why not? Let me get them. Yeah, I like that owl and uh, Hellcat cover there. Man, bull. All right. Now, this last issue, Detective Comics. Oof, got, is it Matt Wagner cover? Look at this. Chuck Dixon, Tom Wilde, Scott Hanna. We've got Batman and Robin on the cover here. This is the second appearance of a beloved character of mine who is who definitely has a lot more room to grow and hope to see her back. She's got some redesigned costumes and so hopefully some plans for her in the future for some more appearances. And I think she was a part of Future State, can't remember. I haven't read through all those issues yet. But Detective Comics 648, second appearance of my girl, Stephanie Brown. First appearance of her as the spoiler. Yes, here she is. My girl, Stephanie Brown. I always love Stephanie Brown. You've been me for a while. Nice. She is the bad girl with the heart. She's just an absolute champ. Her uh, her bad girl series, was, who was, I don't remember who all was on that one. I know Dustin Wynn did some of that. Our germ has some covers. There's this dope. Number 14 was this uh, team up issue with her and Supergirl, which was fantastic. Dope art germ cover. It was just a fun issue. And uh, oh my God, what is, I remember all the creators who've been on. I just remember Dustin Wynn had uh, worked on it. And who's the writer on this? Shit, it's been so long since I looked at those. But yeah, Bad Girl Stephanie Brown, that run, fantastic. And wanted to get some of her. Spoiler appearances, and yes, here is her first appearance as Spoiler. Detective Comics 648. Stephanie Brown's first appearance was 647. So yes, uh, but yeah, uh, just another small but fun eBay comic hauler, some dope back issues. Stephanie Brown, Hellcat, Zatanna, and some Spider-Man action. Yes, 
fantastic. So yeah, that's that. Uh, let me know what you're picking up, what you've been hunting, what you got your eyes on. The As I kind of talked about in one of my other videos, the comics market is going kind of crazy and with speculation being at an all-time high, this back issue hunting, especially going back to Bronze Age and uh, earlier, it's, it's going to get kind of dicey and then some of us are going to have to really look at what we want to do with our collections and just collecting uh, all the back issue stuff as a whole because it's just going to get insane. It's already been out of hand, the speculation is. so. And it's obviously just going to put a damper on back issue collecting. So, yeah, we're just going to have to have a serious talk about that as a community. So, yeah, let me know what your thoughts on that as well. And, yeah, all the good stuff reading, collecting-wise. So, drop it in the comments below. Happy reading, happy hunting, happy collecting. This is Dragon. Thanks for watching, and peace out.